Hi, welcome. Let's install Arch Linux B Deeping. As of April 2020, all our desktops put into their own environment, their own desktop, and XFC is no longer a transfer mechanism. And because of it, I've made videos specifically actually for the tiling window managers, but I've extended it to all the rest as well, to the desktops. So this is a friendly reminder and you decide what you want to have. Probably everybody's going to use effect mode because it's nice. And then I get this nice noise from time to time. It's really loud. It's like 100%, so dim your volume. And then it's always like uh, the same thing, right? So don't never mind these, these strange things here. That's a warning sign. I see that too, but that's okay. You can run Gpart to clean up your act. So if there are partitions up here and you can say, I'm going to click, click in the dustbin and then apply and everything is erased like it is now. This is a virtual box, so it is clean, clean. And then you're going to run Calamaris. And Calamaris is there to have a graphical installation and to make it easy for users to actually install anything they like, right? It has, uh, it's, it's just for Linux as a whole. There are lots of distros that use Calamaris. So it's up to you to decide in divisions there are always um, there's a structure going on here on the site and you are going through the list of applications that you could install. You don't need to install, you can install it. So whatever you see here already, that's important for you to know. What you see is what you get, right? This is going to be installed anyway. There's nothing to do about that. It's going to be there. So sudo pacman minus R and it's gone. Or, and that's why we built Arachnix B, you build it. You put it, you put stuff on there and you delete stuff on there, right? That's that's actually why Arclinx B is there. It's not to download and burn. So okay, um, if uh, building is not for you, then you download this thing and you say, I can add more stuff, not less, more. So I want to have Zoom, for instance, I want to have Arclinx Team Viewer that's gonna work out of the box, guys. And lots of things that has to have to be done in the back end for Team Viewer. So, that's gonna work. Then the next screens, you just go through them and decide which ones you like, which one you would like to have. It's a decision you have to make. I believe I've made three or four videos just talking about the software that we have on Linux and the freedom of choice we have. So lots of fun stuff in here in games. And next one is utilities, next one is all kind of accessories but also lots of file managers maybe you don't want to work with a specific file manager and want to work with ranger or want to work with nemo or want to work with dolphin and so on it's a free choice choose your lego box basically and this is for us the Arch Linux developers this is what we always install if we're testing so we can immediately talk to each other and make screenshots and all that then you decide where you live. Obviously, gonna click on the right button here or either choose from the drop down. This is the most important thing. Set this right here, right now. It's always gonna be easier than later on uh, fixing it on your machine. Then it's time to erase the disk. In this version, uh, version 3.2.22, there is some information regarding the manual partitioning. If you have a GPT, which this is not, then you do this and this and that, right? That's interesting for users to know, but we're going for an erase disk and we can choose these general options. And since this is a virtual box, I'm going to go for no swap. You can encrypt as well. And then you have six automatic choices. Choose whether you want to log in automatically or use the same password. It's entirely up to you. And then it's installation time. So this is the time you sit back, kick back and, and enjoy everything. There's some changes. Always You'll always see differences because of the calamars that always is improving all the time. So that's great. So um, we also, you probably will also see in the future other applications being added to the list as well so that's all okay gonna pause the video here till we get to the end that it has been installed all right then we restart everything is done 
We unplug our USB. In my case, it's a virtual box. The ISO is still in there. And I'm choosing boot existing OS. And that's that. You'll be launched into deeping with a lot of noise. Not yet, but now. This is okay, but when you install it on real metal, oh my god, makes a lot of noise. So there it is, you have now your system. You can uh, update your system and have fun. Alright, enjoy.